Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba, Father. Child of God, it is your time. <laughs> you have to prepare your mind because I hear this word so strongly. You are about to be enriched on every side, you know. When God enriches you on every side, it is not just in financial status. Yes, it can't. that one is a part of it, but that is not all. That is not all. They say head is wet. So when God enriches you on every side, he will give you head. Hallelujah. He will give you head and he will give you laughter. When God enriches you on every side, he will break years of barrenness. <laughs> And give you fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Somebody hear me and I believe this word is for you. That God is about to enrich you on every side. You have to be prepared. You know. Because whenever God is about to release blessings. The enemy always comes to sow doubt. To sow different kinds of things. Hallelujah. Yes they are very good. You know. As sowing doubt into the hearts of men. When their time is right. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when the time is right, it says, I, the Lord, will bring it to pass. Somebody hear me very well. <laughs> the time is right. Glory to Jesus. The time is right. The reason why the enemy wants to try to sow, you know, different kinds of things in your heart, it is because they are afraid. They are afraid. They might ask you, how long? How long? Ah, you have been praying. You have been this. You have been that. All of that, they are tricks of the enemy. We understand. Hallelujah. It is your time to win. The Lord is enriching you on every side. When I mean on every side, the potter of wet will be opened unto you. The Bible says that even the riches of the hidden, it will transfer unto us. Glory to Jesus. And we will possess the cities. <laughs> we will possess the nation. A nation will come to our rising. It is time. What time do you want it to be? It is sometimes, you know, when you pray like this, when you release prophetic messages like this, somebody is like, ah, what time is going to be? <laughs> sometimes it has to be by you as well. Because what you prophesy, it can come to pass. You need to understand that you are a prophet on your own as well. You are a prophet ordained by the Lord as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. They are so afraid now because they see that God is about to enrich you. You see that car that the world is judging you for. That, ah, why will you ride a car? Because you serve God. Ah, Christianity, if you serve God, you should not have prosperity. Let me tell you one thing. Prosperity does not stop anyone from going to heaven. Or stop anyone from going to hell. Prosperity... What stop anyone from going to heaven? It is sin. It is sin. It is sin. The reason why so many people, when they have words, the words start controlling them. That is where the problem is. Instead of them to control words, words will not be controlling them. The Bible says everything belongs to the Lord. The silver, the gold, the riches. The strength, the power to make what is in the hands of God. So when you want to buy a car, somebody is telling you, are you that self God? Why will you buy a car? Go and buy that car. If it is going to be for your movement, it is not for you to be proud. It is for you to arrive at the place you are going on time. It is for you to be comfortable. It is for you to have rest. Go. All that matters that you give God glory in it. If it is a house you are able to buy, go and buy it. All that matters is that you give God glory to it. Don't allow people to sow this seed into your head that because you serve God, you must be poor. Jesus says the poor will always be among us. But he doesn't say that we must be poor. He said the poor will, almost, will always be among us. So if the Lord has given the privilege to be rich, be rich and help the poor. That is what it means. 
Because the poor will always be among us. If everyone is poor, who will help the poor? Who will help the poor? So if you are worthy, go and help the poor. That is why the Lord make you worthy. That is why. You understand. Hallelujah. Abraham was worthy. He went to heaven. Right? <laughs> Job was worthy. Solomon, how many can you count? So also the man that was the rich man that went to hell was also rich. He went to hell. So what you have is not what determines where you are going. How you live your life is what determines where you are going. How you see the things that God has given to you, how you handle them, that is what determines. Don't allow people to attach poverty to Christianity. If there is any poor among us that are, that are Christians, you that is rich, help them. Because Jesus said the poor will always be among us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It is your time to shine. And the enemy is so afraid. That is why they condemn everything we want to do. You are investing, they condemn it. You are looking for a job, they condemn it. Ah, can a Christian be doing business? Ah, Christians should not feed. Hallelujah. It is your time, child of God. You have to be prepared. Because the Lord is about to enrich you on our side. The devil cannot stop it. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.